We all know how we feel whenever our loved ones fall sick or is diagnosed with terrible ailments. Now, picture young Trinity, whose only living relative got a cancer diagnosis. That must have been huge for the young fella. My high school experience was bad. In high school, my grandmother got sick. She had cancer. Now, he had to dedicate two years of his life attending to his grandma. That was a period teens his age were having the best time of their lives with zero worries. Well, not Trinity. So the last two years of high school, I'd quit school to take care of my grandmother. He obviously doesn't sound like he's homeschooled himself, but this young hero did. Don't worry, dude. We'll find you a befitting cape so you can continue to be an inspiration to youths across the globe. Homeschool myself. Losing one's mom is never easy for an adult. When a child of eight years loses his parents, words will truly feel the loneliness he is bound to feel. My mother died when I was eight. Having a mom who died from AIDS and has a business as a club dancer is never a good conversation starter among one's peers. Snide remarks and harsh words are always said. From complications of HIV, she was in the wrong business. Luckily, his grandma offered her heart and home to the young Trinity. It seems good fortune was about to shine on young Trinity. So, I was raised by my grandparents. Just when we thought life was good, our friendly neighbor, Cancer, came to say hi to his grandma. Wow, how many sorrows can one man pass through? My grandmother got terminally ill. As if our unfriendly neighbor couldn't wait till Trinity was a full adult, it struck and took away the last piece of his family before he fully blossomed into an adult. When I was 16 and died when I was 18. You can feel the bottled up emotion in the voice of our hero as life dealt an unpleasant card and he couldn't even do things kids his age were doing. I never got to do like a prom, I never got to do a senior trip or graduation or anything like that. I know you probably think our hero regrets spending quality time with his grandma before her death. Well, don't. He loves that he was there and helped her to peacefully cross over. But that was my choice. I did that on my own because I loved her. It seems our unfriendly neighbor didn't visit only Trinity, as Shay shares his bitter encounter. In his case, however, he lost a ton of relatives. Man, that's never a good feeling. I've lost so many relatives to cancer. Shay's colleague can't help but exclaim, oh, truly, that was an oh situation anyone wouldn't pray to be in. Oh. When our dads have an ailment, we are always troubled as right before our faces, our healthy confidant who used to play with us gallantly becomes a shadow of themselves. It must have been hard for Shay. My dad has multiple myeloma, which is in the bone marrow. Well, just like most of us, that would love a dream, but her parents were unsupportive. So was the case for Shay, as his dad was against starring in drag. I kind of put up a barrier between my dad and I when I started doing drag. Oh, finally, we've seen the cause of the break between the father and son. His dad, being a military man, was never expressive about his love towards his child. Never been a man that really expressed his love through words or actions. Military man. Well, his conservative nature was greatly tested when he got his diagnosis. All of a sudden, a part of him that was unknown to everyone showed up. Conservative. Because of his cancer diagnosis, it's put some things into perspective mm -hmm. for him. Just one day, his military dad called. Could this be good news or bad news? One day, he gave me a call. Oh, good news, it was for the first time. The dad supported his profession and professed his undying love for his son, no matter the career path he chose. I just want to let you know that I love you regardless. This is your expression. You could see how important that validation from his dad meant to Shay. He couldn't even bottle up his emotions. And he, oh. and he just repeated it amidst teary eyes. It was the most validating experience I'd ever had. Though the validation was important, it came at a cost. It finally dawned on Shay that his time with his dad was rather limited. I just realized that my time with him is limited. Shay also learned another thing. His father was the best in the world, thus wiping off his wrong perception of his dad. He's actually way more accepting and loving than I gave him credit for. During elimination, our guy can't complain his excitement, as he thanks the judge for being a light to the drag race family. Changed the world of drag. Love you and respect you so much. Just when we thought he was done with the outpour, he lets out another. Our judge believed in him when no one else did. That is truly comforting. And thank you for seeing something special in me. You know when someone is super comfortable around you, they could share their emotional burdens. Trinity couldn't help but share his positive HIV, which had remained hidden for years. Was diagnosed with HIV. Well, as a way of giving back to society, 
Trinity wants to be seen as a source of hope to people who have a similar challenge. Truly, what could be more honorable? An advocate for people in this particular community who is suffering with this. The moment Tyra was announced the winner and crowned, she couldn't hold her excitement. I'll take your shoes off. Collapsing on the floor got the judge's attention, who compassionately offered Tyra help to reduce her excitement. That was truly beautiful to behold. Do you need water? Do you need, does she need to breathe in the paper bag? Tyra welled up in emotions and kept crying on stage. I mean, who wouldn't after haters said you can't achieve anything? 